I'm one of the co-founders of Mystery Vibe, and we uh, we started the business three years ago, but um, it was all almost three years ago now. Uh, but we came up with the idea a very long time ago, around eight years ago, um, and uh, it kind of came from uh, a few different places. Uh, the idea, both for the, we came up with an idea for the company, and then an idea for. Uh, the product itself, the, or at least the first product. Um, and that was, it was really a group effort. Um, but it kind of came from this concept of we noticed how quickly technology was advancing. And at the same time, we noticed the uh, very common human propensity to be distracted by that technology. Um, and I don't think it's any more clear than today uh, that it's so easy just to be completely distracted by the gadgets and gizmos that we all carry in our pockets with us. Um, everywhere that we go, um, we get notifications. Uh, my notifications on my phone go off like something crazy, um, constantly getting emails or texts or WhatsApps or Facebook Messenger um, from my friends and my work colleagues. Uh, and so when that technology, we noticed it started to encroach on the bedroom, um, it can cause real problems. And we'd have conversations with people um, who, for example, their phone was uh, the last thing they touched at night and the first thing they touched in the morning instead of their partner. Um, or people would take their laptop to bed with them. And I mean, there are some issues with that. For example, with blue light in your eyes means that you can't sleep very well. Um, it can also have quite a detrimental effect on people's sex lives. Uh, so we wanted to create some kind of company that was dedicated to uh, using technology in a very empowering way um, to help people connect better um, be curious, be creative, explore themselves, their bodies and their partner's bodies um, as, much as, as much as they could. Uh, so that was kind of the inspiration. And, but the way that we got started was we had this um, idea for a, um, a body adapting toy. So a product that could take different shapes, different forms or... Um, you could almost experiment with a little bit because everybody is different. Uh, so everybody likes to be touched in different ways and in, in different spots on their, on their body. Uh, so we wanted to create something that was flexible and adapting to the person. Uh, so we, we took this idea and the first thing that we did really that kind of created the company was to go to an industrial designer, someone who actually is an expert in creating, designing products um, with the idea. And it all kind of took off from there really.